Starting from right, we have a 9 16 open end wrench, a half inch open end wrench, a socket wrench, a 9 16 socket, a half inch socket, a 7 16 socket, a pair of protective eyewear, and a drill with a 5 8 bit. Hello and welcome back to DIY Golf Cart. Today we're going to be installing a rear folding seat kit on a 1998 Club Car DS. Now this kit will not only fit this model, but it will also fit from the years 1982 all the way up to present day. Now in order to make this video a little bit quicker, what we're going to do is we're going to show you the operation on one side of the cart, and then you'll need to perform the task to the other side as well. Alright, our first step, we want to remove the front seat. So what you can do is just take it off the hooks like that and just set it right there on the cart. Now make sure that you have your key turned off and your parking brake set so that the cart doesn't accidentally roll off. And then we take a one half inch socket wrench we're going to remove these four bolts and save them as we'll be reusing them later on in the video when we mount our trees. Once we remove the four bolts holding the bag attachment to the frame of the golf cart what we're going to do is we're going to find a 7 16 socket and we're going to remove these four bolts holding the seat back to this bracket here. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take the seat back off and then you'll be able to remove the bracket because the, the nuts on the other side of these bolts are on the back side so you can't get to them. So remove these and save the hardware. Alright, once we successfully remove the two seat backs our next step is going to be to take these brackets off as we'll need these brackets to mount it to the next tree. So grab a 7 16 open in and a socket. You'll take both these off and make sure that you save the hardware as you're going to need to reuse it. Do this to both sides and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, once we remove those brackets off the bag rest, our next step will be to remove the two bolts from the access panel so we can gain access under the cart to remove the bag rack completely. So grab a Phillips screwdriver, just take these bolts off, or these screws out on either side. Alright, once we remove the two bolts, then we're just going to slide the access panel right out like so. Alright, once we successfully remove the access panel, we'll locate the bolt that's going through the body here, and we'll grab a <clears throat> one half inch socket wrench and remove these two nuts. Alright, seeing how we have an older model DS card here, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two, two bolts up here and save the hardware so we can install the top support to provide it in the kit. So what we'll do is take a 7 16 socket, remove the bolts from both sides, and then we'll move right along to the next step. Alright, once we remove the four bolts holding the top supports to the top itself, we need to grab a household item like a broom or a mop to support the top while we remove the bag rest. So we'll pull that up just like that, walk right around here, take the bag rest directly off. Alright, one thing that differentiates our seat kit from a lot of the other companies out there is in our instructions it'll say step four. And also, we'll package all the bolts by which ones you need through which step. Alright, once we successfully supported the top, we'll grab the trees provided in the kit, line them up with the holes that are already drilled into the body, and then take the one inch bolt that's supplied, put a washer on the bottom, and then the nut. Once we've done that, then we'll take the same bolts that we used in the first steps that we removed and we'll place those in there. Now we just want to hand tighten all these bolts so we'll tighten everything up later on in the video. Once we've installed the trees on the body of the golf cart, our next step will require us to install the top supports. Now seeing how we're installing this on an older model club cart DS, we'll use the top supports provided. Now if you do have a newer style, you want to reuse your existing top supports and line them up with these holes right here. So grab a one inch bolt, put the washer on it, and run it directly through like so. 
You'll do that to both sides and then we'll install the top to the top of the support. Once we've got the top supports installed on both sides, our next step will be to re reuse the existing hardware and attach the top to the top supports. So first off, we're going to remove the broom we were using to, to rest it on. And then we're going to line these top supports up with the holes like so and run the bolts directly through. And then we'll take that same bracket that we had initially installed on this, put the nut on either end, and then we can go ahead and tighten this stuff down. Do the same step to the other side. All right, our next step, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to remove the four bolts holding the bumper to the frame of the golf cart. Now, the only reason we're removing the bumper is we need the down supports to be installed underneath the bumper to hold up the, the bed itself. So we'll grab a half inch deep socket and a half inch open end wrench. Take this bolt off, take the other three off, and then we'll show you the next step. All right, once we've successfully removed the bumper, we're going to get our down support brackets, place them in the holes like this with the L shape facing backwards, line the holes up from the bumper, then take the bolts and run them directly through the holes. Now we'll do this to both sides and then we'll show you the next step. Alright, once we've got the down support successfully in place, our next step will be able to install the deck itself to the frame of the cart. So what we'll do is we'll just rest it up there like that, grab one and three quarters inch bolts, run them through the, the trees, just hand tighten them on both sides. And then we'll go down to the down supports. Now for these down support brackets, you're going to want to locate the hole on the outside of the, the frame. Put the washer through. Make sure the bracket's on the inside, not the outside. Just hand tighten these on both sides. Alright, once we've got the frame all hand tightened there to the cart, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our footrest brackets and mount them to the footrest. Now we're going to count the third hole from center, put the, the, uh, the C-clamp here going on the inside of the one inch tubing and then make sure that the bracket is facing outwards. And then we'll run a bolt directly through like that. And just hand tighten these for now. And then we'll go on and do the next step. Alright, once we've got the brackets mounted to the step plate, we're going to take our arm rails, line them up with the holes. The holes are already pre-drilled with a nut, so uh, all you need to do is throw this, this bolt through that hole and it fits in there nice and smooth. Now don't tighten these down. Do the same step to the other side and we'll install the footrest to the bottom hole down here. Alright, once we've installed the handrails on either side of the cart, next we'll take the two inch bolts, locate the holes, run them directly through, and put a nut on the other side. Now you want to perform this task both sides of the cart. Alright, now we're going to install the footrest brackets to this pre-drilled hole of the frame in the golf cart. So we'll grab the one inch bolts that are provided, run them through the kit like so, and then put a nut on the end. Now you'll want to do this to both sides. We jacked the cart up just so you could get a visual of it, but you don't need to jack the cart up if you don't want to. Next step, we're going to install the backrest to the tree of the golf cart. So the, the bolts are supplied in the kit. What I want to point out about this backrest is that all the vinyl that we use, it's all form fitted, so there's no sewing. Uh, it's got an exact match to the front cushions, so it's really nice equipment. All 
All right, for our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to install these brackets that hold the front seat backs to the new trees. So just use the same hardware, put it on there, and do the same to the other side, and we'll move on to the next step. All right, once we've got the brackets installed and tightened into place, our next step will be to install the factory seat backs. And then once again, you'll be reusing your existing hardware. Do this to both sides, and we'll move right along to the next step. All right, once we've got the seat backs all tightened up, we're going to take the access panel, slide it back into its position, and get the Phillips screws, which will have to go underneath the bag well hook here, and tighten them back into place. All right, our final step before tightening everything up is to install the flip deck itself. In order to do this, you're just going to slide it in the folding position on the frame. Grab a one inch nut washer, and these are very important. These are plastic washers that actually work as spacers, and they're going to need to go in between the flip deck itself and the frame of the car. So what you'll do here is run that through, just like so. And then put a nut on the other end. Now you don't ever want to tighten these bolts down. One reason for that is this thing is going to have to be able to flip over into the folding position if you want to use it for a seat kit or, or over in this position right here if you want to carry cargo. So just make sure you have those nice and snug. You might need to check them about every one, at once a month or so to make sure that they haven't loosened up. All right, now that we got everything installed that's provided in the kit, which that includes the nuts, bolts, and all the equipment you see here, we're gonna go around the car real quick and tighten everything up. Now we're gonna point out some features in this seat kit that are unlike any others on the market. One unique feature that we have is we put these little rubber snubbers here on the angle of the, uh, the rear folding deck which allows for a nice silent ride when you're using it over rocky terrain. Another feature of our seat is a 360 degree angle iron that goes around the entire bed itself. This will allow for items like a cooler not to slide off when they're traveling. Now of course you might need to strap this thing down, but it does give you some extra security. Not only does this kit come in a lightweight aluminum finish, like the one we installed here, but we also got a lesser expensive model that uses a high density polypropylene plastic. Still has all the durability, just not the look as the diamond plate one. One of the other features of our rear seat kit is the thickness of the cushion on the rear. Now what you see here is we're a little bit over three quarters of an inch, almost four inches, which almost makes for a more comfortable ride on the back of your cart than the front of your cart. So you might be looking for a chauffeur to take you around. We've already touched on these earlier in the video, but as you can see, we've got pre-drilled holes here for a grab bar if you want to add it at a later date or purchase it with your seat kit right away. The last feature of this seat kit is the strength and durability. It's unlike any other kit I've ever seen on the market, and that's the reason we choose to sell it. As you can see, I can put my entire weight on the lip of this seat kit, and it doesn't even bend. Uh, these kits are made in the USA, so the quality is second to none. And this concludes our install and our demonstration process of this American-made rear seat kit.